Google Analytics allows you to simply track visitor behavior on your website. This is important for monitoring website performance and tracking specific events like sales, bookings, and more that happen on your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. Now in today's brief tutorial, I'm gonna show you how anyone can simply install Google Analytics onto a WordPress website in just a few steps. Now, this tutorial is for those looking to simply install Google Analytics 4 onto their WordPress website, which is the current version of Google Analytics. Okay, now before I walk you through this simple process, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and install Google Analytics 4 onto your WordPress website. Okay, so getting straight into it, the first step to connecting Google Analytics with our WordPress website is to log into your WordPress dashboard. Once you've arrived at your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate over to Plugins and then select Add New. And this is where we can go ahead and install the lightweight plugin that's gonna allow us to connect Google Analytics 4 with our WordPress website. So navigate up to Search Plugins and type in GA Google Analytics. And then come down and locate the free plugin called GA Google Analytics by Jeff Starr. You can see that there are over 600,000 active installations and five star for the reviews. This is the free plugin that we want to install. So navigate up to install now and then select activate. And congratulations, just like that, you've successfully installed the free plugin GA Google Analytics onto your WordPress website. Now what we wanna do is locate settings. Now under plugins, we can navigate over to settings and click here, or under your dashboard, you can locate settings and come down under settings and you'll notice that Google Analytics is now under settings. Click here. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, this is an extremely lightweight plugin and it's very easy to use and set up. So what we wanna do is navigate up to plugin settings, click here, and then all we need to do is add our Google Analytics tracking ID and then come down and click Google site tag. And this is where we want to add our Google site tag. So in order to do this, what we need to do is log into Google Analytics. So what we need to do is open up a new browser and head over to Google Analytics. And as you can see, we've arrived at Google Analytics by simply typing in analytics.google.com. That's gonna take you here if it's the first time that you've used Google Analytics. Now make sure that you've selected the right Google account that you wanna to use to set up your Google Analytics. To do that, simply navigate up to the top right and click here and then come down and select your Google account. If you don't already have a Google account, come down and simply go ahead and create a free Google account. So what we're gonna do is navigate over to Start Measuring. And here to set up our account, what we wanna do is add an account name. What we're gonna do is add our business name in here. So go ahead and add your account name. This can be your business name. Then scroll down to the bottom and click Next. So come down and add a property name. Again, we're gonna add our business name because we wanna track the data from our business website. So go ahead and add your property name. For us, we've added our business name in here again, and then come down and select your reporting time zone and your currency. For us, we operate as a local business in New Zealand. So what we wanna do is select New Zealand. And again, our currency is in New Zealand dollars, so we're gonna locate New Zealand dollars. However, select the appropriate currency for you. Then once you've added those details, come down and click next. And then here, what we wanna do is add some basic business information. Down here, we're gonna select an industry category. This is where you wanna select the category that best represents your business. We're gonna select business and industrial. Select your business size, we're gonna select small. And then below this, we have how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? Select all that apply. For us, we're just gonna select measured data across multiple devices or platforms, increase my conversions, and then measure customer engagement with my site or app. 
Now this section is not vital so if you're not too sure what options to tick that's completely fine you can leave this for now and come down and click create. Again navigate up to country and region and select your country. We're going to select New Zealand and then if you like you can go ahead and read Google Analytics terms of service then come down and click I also accept the data processing terms as required by GDPR. If you want to learn more about this you can simply click here or click learn more. Then simply navigate over to I accept. Give Google Analytics a moment to load. Select any of these options if you like. We're just going to navigate over to save. And then with Google Analytics 4 what we want to do is create a data stream. So come down and click web because we want to connect Google Analytics with our website. And navigate up to website URL and below that we have HTTPS or HTTP. Now if your site is secure you want to make sure that you select HTTPS. If your site is currently not secure then select this option. I recommend you get your site secured with an SSL. If your domain does not have HTTPS at the beginning of your URL then reach out to your hosting provider and get them to enable the SSL. Now our site is secured and has HTTPS so we're going to select HTTPS then over here what you want to do is add your website URL. Then once you've added name, then your TLD top level domain this could be .com, .co, .nz, .org, .nz, .org. Basically you want to make sure that your domain is entered in here correctly. Then head over to stream name and just enter in your website name. For us it's our business name again. And just like that we're ready to create our new data stream. Click create stream. Give Google Analytics a moment to load. And then all we need to do is navigate up to measurement ID and click copy. And then head back to our WordPress dashboard. And then simply come down to GA tracking ID. And this is where we want to paste in our ID. Our Google Analytics tracking ID. Then as you can see we have global site tag selected. Now what we want to do is head back to Google Analytics and find the global site tag and copy that tag. So head back over to Google Analytics and navigate down to tagging instructions and below add new on page tag. What we want to do is select here and this is our global site tag. If we scroll down this is what we want to copy and paste into our Google Analytics plugin. To simply copy this global site tag head over to this copy icon click here and then once again head back over to your WordPress dashboard. And then back here within WordPress and under our plugin settings what we want to do is come down to custom tracker objects then navigate over to this box and simply paste in that code. Now let's make sure that we have the entire code in here and then lastly make sure that you have selected include tracking code in page head. And that is all there is to it to connecting Google Analytics 4 with our WordPress website. Once you've added that information come down and click save changes. And congratulations just like that you've successfully installed Google Analytics onto your WordPress website with GA Google Analytics the free plugin. Okay now to ensure that Google Analytics is correctly connected to our WordPress website what we want to do is head back to Google Analytics and then simply navigate up to exit web stream details and then navigate over to the left hand side where it says home. And under home this is your new Google Analytics 4 dashboard for the account that you just created. You can scroll down to see important information in terms of visitor behavior and your website performance. However it will take time before you start seeing significant data being tracked by Google Analytics. Ok now to see if Google Analytics 4 is properly connected with your WordPress site navigate over to real time over here or select real time on your dashboard. Then just quickly head over to your website and scroll through any of your website pages to show that you're a visitor on your website and this should send signals back to Google Analytics. Now if we head back to Google Analytics we should be able to see one real time user. And back in our Google Analytics account and under real time you can see that we have one user on our home page as well as other basic information. And you can see that that user is from New Zealand. 
And this shows us that Google Analytics is properly connected to our WordPress website. Congratulations guys, it's as simple as that to connect Google Analytics with your WordPress website. And there we have it, that is it for today's brief Google Analytics installation guide. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you subscribe, you leave a like below the video. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.